miniatures games are the, the first thing that, that brought me into the hobby uh, many, many years ago. I love building bottles and painting them, playing a game and having fun with your friends. Over a miniatures game I think is a great experience and I'm really excited that we're finally able to do one. I am super excited to be working on a game like this. It's uh, This is something that's been part of my background and my history for a long time and to be part of the creative team that actually gets to decide the storyline and the aesthetics for all these miniatures is uh, it's an indescribable experience. It's just really, really great. Working on Rune Wars has been a great treat. There's so much stuff that we're just really excited about. And I, I get super pumped for a lot of our games, but this this game is like one game that I'm just super stoked to <laughs> physically own. Big milestone for uh, Fantasy Flight Games. And it's, it's a lot of unique efforts from everybody involved. Because we worked really hard on this. And it's, it's fantastic to see, like finally get out to the public and then they just soak it up and just consume that world. On the surface, I think you're walking by, looking at the table will look like a traditional rank and file Miniatures game with lots of troops. Uh, it'll have leaders, monsters, skeletal warriors, everything you'd expect to see at your hobby store. Uh, but when you actually sit down and play, it actually plays a lot different than what you'd expect. Yeah, so we knew players were going to be drawn in by plastic, but we wanted to uh, make sure that they stayed engaged, and we wanted to make it nice, approachable, and fast-paced. The command tool is a, a dial, actually two dials, that link to each unit. You set what action you want that unit to perform, and then during play, they execute whatever commands you put onto that tool. It's very straightforward to the players. They get a very short menu of options of what they can perform, but it allows us great depth in how we customize each unit. Each unit feels completely different from the next unit. Uh, I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised at how simplified all those rules are, but at the same time, you're still making just as difficult of uh, strategic decisions but there's just less getting in the way of you just having fun and having a good time. Designing with the, with the trays in mind, um, there's a lot of back and forth with the Patience, pose. Revision, yeah. revision. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody's gonna, uh, in the trays, bump up to each other. So for the Dukan, for example, they have like big long spears and wanted to try and get a pose that the sculptors could work with uh, yeah. in creating new poses. We want to give like nice surface area for uh, the people to paint on and just have a lot of fun with and kind of interpret their own details. So you got some like big, big chunky heavy figures. We've got like significantly more mass to the figures now and they're so impressive. Uh, I think that we have made a stylistic choice in a lot of the details. Um, certain things are exaggerated because at the end of the day we want these miniatures to be really easy and fun to paint. The texture on the rune golem, for example, is very um, chiseled and should really lend itself well to highlights. I think that um, a lot of the stylistic choices that the sculptors have made are really conducive to painting a good miniature. But I think probably the thing that I'm most excited about is seeing what the public is going to do when they get their hands on all these models. I would hope that people are excited to see what Fantasy Flight Games brings to the tabletop wargaming. And, you know, seeing that level of quality and polish that we bring to every other category in the board game industry, that we're now bringing it to the tabletop and that we're going to give them a top-notch experience.